guys what's going on it's your girl anita rivers of classic royalty and i am back with another video today's video i'm gonna show you guys how to glue on stones onto mesh as you guys can see i'm working on a prom gown and my client wanted to add some royal blue stones and a lot of you guys have been asking me what mesh do you use how do you sew on or even how to even glue on the appliques or the stones so i'm gonna show you guys how i do it first you guys will need your stones so here are the stones. I got this from B&Q Trimmings in New York City in the Garment District. And a bag like this, it may be 2,000 stones for about $40, depending on the bag and the size. And if you also go to High Trimming, you can get these stones, 500 for $10. It varies on, again, the size. As you guys can see, these are bigger and these are a bit smaller. So the store that I shop at for my stones are high trimming and i also go to b and q trimming now when using your stones you guys will also need a flat surface to put your stones in this is just something that i like to use you can really use any top but i like using the candle tops because they're heavy and then i can see them clearer and it's also best to get something that's clear so that you can actually see the colors not black or not red clear is best also make sure you guys put the different stone sizes if you guys are using two different sizes as you guys can see i'm using um a small size in this one and i'm using a big size in this one never mix the two you guys will also need um some tweezers i like to use your regular tweezer nothing too fancy from the 99 cent store again for this project you guys will need the best thing ever which is e6000 don't quote me a lot of people use different glues unfortunately I haven't used anything other but the E6000 and again it's E6000. The best thing for you guys to do is to order it off of Walmart. I don't know if you can order it off of Walmart. The last time I checked you couldn't order it offline but they are in the store. If you go to Walmart these bottles are about $2 to $2.50 a bottle. If you go to the fabric store or your garment district or whatever these babies can run you from $6 to $12 each. And that's not cool so go to walmart oh and also when you buy these things make sure they say clear because many of times i've been rushing and just grabbed and it said white this dries clear so make sure you guys buy the clear ones and again i already have one open so i'm just going to go ahead and open it if i can it's been a long time i'm not even going to use my teeth And for those of you who may be wondering as well, no, I don't wear a mask because I don't really get too close to it. I just use it, put it on, and keep it moving. So if you guys are very sensitive to smells, please wear one of them face masks. That will definitely help you. So like I said before, it's pretty dry inside. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get me a pen. I'm just going to poke a couple of holes in here. Okay, as you guys can see, there is something on the inside of this. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and show you why. So what I have on the inside is just some regular plastic bags. The reason why I like putting plastic bags on the inside is because you guys see my mannequin? This is what happens to your mannequin when you don't put anything under. Use this as an example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a regular plastic bag and I'm gonna put it on the inside of the garment. And it also helps with the shape. So when you guys are sewing, it's not going to go on your mannequin. It's not going to really mess up the mesh. So all you guys are doing is just placing. That if this is your first time using the E6000 glue and stones, and you're scared to glue and you're just hesitant, please make sure you guys get a blanket or just old towels and place it around the bottom part of your garment because there has been times when I'm gluing something up here and it drops directly onto the gown so that is a no-no so i'm going to also give you guys another tip when your stones are inside of your case make sure the color of the actual stone is facing you so that you guys can actually go into your case pick up your stone and glue the back so that this way once the glue is on you can go ahead and go towards your garment and just place it on you can see i already added a couple of stones now the trick to this is you got to move fast, you got to move smart, and you got to make sure that everything on this side matches the same stones on this side. So as you guys can see, all these stones here, there's one here, I'm going to place one right on the other side. See how there's one here, there's one right on the other side. I know it looks kind of uneven. Is it uneven? 
If the glue is still not dry, you can go ahead and just move it up just like I did. And you can do that because again, the glue is clear. Grab the stone with your needle. You're gonna take your glue, push a little bit of glue out, put glue on the bottom, wrap the excess glue around. Then you're gonna go ahead, figure out where you wanna place it first. And then you're gonna actually put your stone there. Now, if you don't want to get your fingers messed up, the end or the back of your tweezer, go ahead and take that and push on the stone a little bit. See how the glue like drips? Be very careful because you don't want that in any of your clothes. If that happens, just bring it back. And all of that, I don't throw that out. I actually go ahead, grab the stone and take some of the glue from that bottom area. And I'm gonna add a couple more stones on this side and then all this is gonna be stones and all in the center is gonna be some stones as well. See, I already added the stones onto the front. They're placed very nicely. And again, I went ahead and added some more stones up into the side, going towards the back. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and go past this because only because my client, her hair is gonna be long. So it's going to be covering a little bit anyway and go to this side and again add some more stones up into this um back seam but so far so good it looks nice right okay so i'm done actually adding the stones and i took out the plastic and as you guys can see there's still some plastic here that's on the stones so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna cut and just take off the plastic. Cutting off plastic is way better than having your mannequin look like this. She is done. Now we're gonna add on the skirt. And there it is! Yay! I'm finally finished with the prom dash. I'm finally finished with the prom dash. I showed you guys in my previous video, how to create this detachable uh, tool gown. And then I also showed you guys how to add on the stones by using the E6000 glue. Um, so I'm super excited and I'm loving the way how it came out. If you guys have any questions, any comments, please leave them below in the comments bar. Again, if you have any questions on why, where I bought my fabric, go ahead and look in the description box. I have a list of stores where I shop, and I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys liked it, tell me. Bye, guys.